we're back. I'm sorry about that, you guys. I tried to give a warning, but yeah. we're all back on. Okay, hold on. I like what everyone had to, to share tonight. And, uh, you, you know, since there's going to be false prophets and people claiming to be Jesus and, and so forth, I think pointing back to this very word is instruction for us to be able to show others, teach others of how Jesus will be coming back so that they can be on the lookout for the false prophets, the false people trying to claim that they're Jesus. And so I kind of look at that as, as uh, instruction for us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Brother Derek, um, I've made it back in. I got disconnected. I, I did want to add piggy bank on to your wife. Um, yes, sir. Uh, Sunday, uh, when I left home, uh, God had showed me a church that he wanted me to go to. And so when I when I made it to this road and I, and I passed by this church, there were three churches right there uh, together where you could throw a rock and hit all three. <laughs> and so I was confused as to which church to go to. And so... I was also a bit um, kind of leery of going into the church because I knew that, you know, not everybody in there looked like me. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. And so um, God says, I, I have brought you through here four times and you still have not stopped at this church. And I said, God, give me a sign. And so I turned around and I came back through and I saw a couple walking into the church that was located in the center. So I said, okay, this is the church. So I went in there and, you know, um, I was welcomed into the church, but I was not, I was not comfortable. I was uncomfortable going into the church. And so I sat down and the Holy Spirit began to speak with me. He said, you have to, get past this comfort level of being around people who play the same music that you play, who, who's, um, who are of the same denomination that you were or whatever, you have to get past that. Right, right. And so I, I sat down in the church and when uh, the church ended, the, pre the pastor looked at me and he said, God has sent a prophet here today and we want to let him have the floor. Mm. And so God told me, he said, tell them about the last mm. uh, vision that you had. And I say that to say this, uh, just to, to, to piggyback on with your, your wife, is we, we have to be able to get uncomfortable because we're in that type of era now. Right. We have to we have to go places that we don't normally go. Right. We have to meet people that we don't normally meet. We we may even meet oh, someone who is of a different denomination than us. But you have to look past that. And you have to look at it and say, you know, is there something that I can do that may catch this person's attention that may get them saved if they are not already saved? Right. Mm. And so. I think we're in that time and point now where God is saying the rubber needs to meet the road. Right. It's, it's time out for play. And I know I've already said that, but I just, when she began to speak, it just, it, you know, it just brought a fire out of me where mm -hmm. I thought, thought about Sunday and God said, well, you, you need to share that, the experience, because they will experience the same thing at certain times mm -hmm. when they may be uncomfortable and don't want to do something that I'm telling them to do. Amen. Mm. Amen. That's deep. Hallelujah. Okay. Yeah, God, God tells us in his word that his strength is made perfect in our weakness. So when we're going through things, when we feel uncomfortable, that is a good time that Jesus is allowing the fruits of the spirit to work in us. 
If everything's good, ain't nothing, nothing to work. But when everything's bad, it's a perfect time. Amen. Sit in it and burn. Let it burn. So I love that. I love that, Prophet Tony, because God is definitely sending us in uncomfortable, uncharted waters so we can tell people about his gospel. And Amen. then the wife started off with this 100-man complex and pre just preaching at the building with people in there. Next week, the hallelujah. Next week after that, they're coming out for prayer. It was beautiful. And just to see God just moving, doing a magnificent thing, but we had to step out on uncharted waters. Yes. To allow that to go forth. It was uncomfortable because we might have not did it only but a handful of times, but that's the real work going to the people. Jesus gave us strength and power yes. to go to the people. That's a minute. You're a ministry. You're a walking ministry. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And you know, and I, I say this one more thing, and I'll be quiet. And God said, if you need to know what time it is, all you have to do is look look around you. Mm -hmm. You look at, at the, the weather, you look at the earthquakes. The other day, over 300 earthquakes in one day. Mm. And you look at the, the volcanoes that are going off all over, all over the place. You look at war that is starting. You look at uh, down here, a, a, uh, a woman killed her child mm -hmm. and said the devil told her to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look at all these different things that are going on, and it's obvious we're in the last days. Right. Yes, we are. Mm. Amen. And I just want, and I also want to say, ah. um, um, say something to that too. It reminds me of the um, the parable of the talents. Mm -hmm. I forgot what scripture that was. When God gave the talents, and then the one, the one, um, the one man, he hid his talent. He didn't do anything with it. So we just, when I said earlier, you know, this is we have a responsibility. We're going to be held accountable. We're going to have to give right. an account because when we're saved, you know, what are we doing? What are we doing with? What are we doing? We, you know, and so we're going to, that's something we're going to be accountable for. Amen. And, you know, um, you know, it's, it, it's, it's because things have shifted and we're in the end times and things are just, I mean, things are changing drastically. Right. Like yeah. the brother yes. said, just look around, I mean, by the day. So therefore we have to shift mm -hmm. as things shift. We have to shift in our spiritual walk. So the things that we haven't been doing or we weren't comfortable in doing you're going to be called to do it. Mm -hmm. You're yes. going to be called to do it. And we can, we have to not limit God. We can't, we can't, we got to make sure we're not limiting God, but we're truly saying, Lord, use me Amen. to your glory, whatever that looks like. So when we say that we can't have a pre preconceived image of what we think that looks like, because then you're limiting God. Right, right. When we say that, I know when I say that, I'll speak for myself. I'm saying, Lord, um, use me in whatever way mm -hmm. you you want to. And whatever it is, I'm stepping out on faith because I know you're with me. Right. And right. I tell you, no sooner did I did that, God gave me an assignment. <laughs> he gave me an assignment. As soon as I said that, <laughs> right. mm -hmm. he got an assignment. And you know what? I wasn't scared or nothing. I knew God was with me and the Lord told me to do it. So I was obedient. Mm -hmm. But yes. it's something new. It's a new territory right. for me, right. is what I'm saying. So as, yes. I'm telling you, saints, it's new territory time. Right. It's new territory time. Mm. Yes. It's right. new territory time. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. It's, yeah, this is awesome. Beautiful word today. To let us know in Acts 1, 8 through 11, and the one my wife read through 6 and 7, is that the puzzle was acting when, when the kingdom was going to be restored to Israel. And Jesus told him, it's not in his timing or our timing or season, but the father has that in his timing. So guess what? Jesus will be coming when the father say so. So Amen. This, this, is a, this is a beautiful word right here because this lets us know that Jesus, Jesus didn't want the apostles to move until the Holy Ghost came upon them, the power. So when we get the power to move, let us be steadfast and studying diligently so we can receive of that. Let us be committed to studying. Let us be committed to humble servant. Let us be committed to putting a smile on our face, to being joyous and to letting Jesus know we want to be ambassador for him. 
We yes. want him to instill us in our character so we can be, you know, the man that he is increased, he, you know, he intended for us to be. We want that. Amen. Do we got do we got any last words, Saints, before we um close out? This was a good study today. Let us just understand that the witnesses, they are not witnesses. What they were witnessing, the apostles doing made them a witness. But to me, this is the Father and the Son, and the Holy Ghost was Jesus when he ascended. No flesh can ascend to heaven, only by the Spirit. So you go back and look at the white arraignment, go back and look at, you know, them being in twos and what they're saying is going to surely come to pass. And the way Jesus is going to come back, they know all of this. Those are intimate things that only the Father and the Son could know. So this is a beautiful word right here. I hope you guys got something out of it. And just, you know, allow yourself to go back and, and look at it yourself and let the Lord um, paint that picture in you. So um, let me see, Charles, Brother Charles, you got anything you want to speak on before we um, close out? He left already. He um, he had to go. Okay, okay. So I guess we'll, we'll pray out. Brother Prophet Tony, pray us out, my brother. Yes, sir. Father God, we just uh, thank you for tonight. We thank you for uh, fellowship. We thank you um, for allowing us to, to uh, come together and, and all the uh, your different children uh, just coming together and, and sharing the word and, and just re-energizing so that we can go back out and, 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 and share your word with the world, Father. And, and Father, we just we thank you for your Holy Spirit that, that helps us and, and guides and directs us in the things uh, that we should do. And, and uh, we thank your, your spirit for, for witnessing, Father, and, and for um, blessing us, Father, to, to stop at the places that we, we need to stop at and, and to speak when we need to speak and not speak when we don't need to speak, Father. And, and we thank you for being there with us and, and with our families and, and, and keeping us, Father. And, and, and we, we, we thank you, Father, as we pray for um, the homeless that that you will uh, bless them and help them and I think about uh, brother will and and brother Joe that I met father and I, I just ask um, your blessing on them that they won't go without that you will bless them with with food and that you will uh, comfort them uh, father and uh, I also want to pray for um, um, brother Jeff, who passed away uh, this morning, that you will comfort his family, um, Father, because we we know not the time that that we're going to leave and when, when we will breathe our last breath. But I pray that uh, we will be ready. Um, I pray um, that we will be at peace and that we will have comfort whenever that time comes, uh, dear Father. And and Lord, I just thank you. Uh, for iron sharpens iron, and that you will bless and 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 multiply um, this ministry, um, that um, many will be reached and and many will be saved through it, Father. For we know that we are in the two minute warning, so um, we need we need this ministry to reach out and and continue to help more and more, Father. So we thank you, and we we thank you. Um, for Brother Derek and his family and, and for all the families that are on here. We just ask that you bless them. We ask that you walk with them. We ask that you surround them with your Holy Spirit and that your guardian angels are among them always, dear Father. And we ask that you bless them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You guys have a God beautiful bless you guys. Yeah, thank you, Tony. Thank you. God bless everyone. Yes. God bless I like God. your little iron, 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 iron graphic there. Thank you for yeah, very nice. Very very nice. nice. I said thank you guys for minutes. That's beautiful. I, I just, yeah, I have this app that I um play with. I like doing stuff like that. So I decided to make you one. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, that was nice. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Best day of the Bye. week. Best day of the week, guys. God bless Hang you, guys. Man. God bless you. See you guys, guys next week. Amen. God bless. All right. Good night. Good night.